In this video, we're going to create a few different examples of interactive scatter plots. We are going to use the penguins data set from the Palmer Penguins package, and we're going to create a scatter plot of bill length millimeters versus body mass grams, and we're going to distinguish the species associated with each observation using different colors and shapes. We're going to investigate two simple approaches for doing this. In the code below, we're going to use ggplot2 to create the desired group scatter plot. And once we have created that, we're going to use the ggplotly function to make that graphic interactive. So we have the code here to produce the desired interactive scatter plot. We are going to create a ggplot using the penguins dataset. And then we are going to associate the body mass gram variable with the x aesthetic and the build length millimeter variable with the y aesthetic of our point geometry, which is what creates a scatter plot. And then in order to create a grouped scatter plot that distinguishes the different species associated with each observation, we set the color aesthetic to species and the shape aesthetic to species. And so this will change the color and the shape associated with each observation so that it corresponds to the species of the observation. Once we have created that scatter plot, we assign it the name ggscatter so that we can pass it to the ggplotly function and make the graphic interactive. We see the interactive scatter plot down here, and we see that when we hover our mouse over the different points or observations in our scatter plot, that it indicates the body mass and the bill length associated with each observation, as well as the species. Though you may notice that species actually shows up twice which is kind of annoying. So have I made an error? Is there a bug? And the short answer is no. It's doing what it was programmed to do because I've included the species variable twice and associated it with two different aesthetics in my scatter plot. In order to correct this behavior, I need to use the tooltip argument of the ggplotly function, where I can specify the aesthetics I want to display when I hover over an observation. Now, when I hover over an observation, I don't have a repeat of species. I have body mass, I have bill length, and species only one time. So this graphic is a little more pleasing than the previous one. Next, we're going to look at how to do this natively using the Plotly package. The way that we do this with the Plotly package is very similar to how we did it with the ggplot2 package. So we use our Plotly function, and we're going to pass the Plotly function the penguins data frame. I then associate the body mass gram variable with the x attribute of this plot using the tilde notation, the bill length millimeter variable with the y attribute using the tilde notation. Next, I associate the species variable with both the color and symbol attributes. So compared to ggplot2 where this was called shape, it's called symbol in the plotly package. Because I want to create a scatter plot, I specify type equals scatter. And because I want points as opposed to something else, I set mode equal to markers, which is going to show a marker for each observation. Now, when I hover over each observation, I once again see the body mass and the bill length associated with each observation, as well as the species. So we see this is a chin strap observation. The body mass is 3,775 grams, while the bill length is 51.7 millimeters. In contrast to the ggplot2 graphic, we don't have a repeat of the species, and so we don't need to correct that, which is very nice.